got some rumors and news about VeChain and um, XRP and stuff. It's not all good, but it might be a little bit of a downer to some of you guys. But we got to cover all of it because obviously, you know, like all this stuff is important. Now, the big VeChain thing is because of its supposed partnership with Amazon. Now, this is an Amazon Cloud partnership. So if you're not familiar, everyone and their mother is partnered with Amazon Cloud. It's a little bit more than just a regular Amazon Cloud partnership, which doesn't mean anything though. They are partnering with Amazon to build green and sustainable future for tech companies. And uh, Amazon has listed Shanghai Tenlin Technology, which is the company behind vCarbon, the VeChain Tor Public Blockchain, and many other firms as partners in Amazon Cloud Technology Sustainable Development Partner Program. But this is a program. It has probably several dozen partners on it, so it's probably not that big of a deal. Uh, but it's still pretty cool. Um, I don't really know how much they'll actually eventually use VeChain, VeChain Tor, and this vCarbon thing in the, in the future, but it could actually result in more transactions sometime down the line. But that's just the point. It's pretty much sometime down the line. They're going to explore all these possibilities, and we don't know if it ultimately will get used or not. We just hope that it will ultimately get used. So still pretty cool, but I wouldn't bet the farm on this, just like I wouldn't bet the farm on a lot of other things. Let's move on to the XRP Citigroup Mataco news. Ripple might actually lose a custodian partnership. It wasn't really Ripple's partnership in the first place. It was more Mataco's partnership. But as you know, Ripple actually bought Mataco. And now Citigroup is looking at other custody solutions, probably because of the lawsuit. Now, you could look at it the other way and say if the lawsuit uh, completes and Ripple wins, they'll get that Citigroup partnership back and it could boost the price even more. But for now, it looks like Ripple will actually lose kind of like the Mataco uh, custodian partnership as Citigroup is seeking other options. So right now, temporarily it's bad, but it probably won't have too much of an effect. And I don't actually think Ripple actually bought Mataco because of this custodian partnership. ADA Polygon Solana might be a sell-off because of the... Um, Celsius situation on July 1st, which is today, they can start selling off ADA, Polygon, and Solana to buy Bitcoin and Ethereum. They have about combined $170 million of these three coins. I think it's pretty heavily doused in Polygon though. So that actually might see the biggest amount of sell-off. Now, there's no um, confirmation that they're even gonna sell off. So this is here by rumors. I don't know if it'll affect the price all that much, but if the price drops like 10, 20%, you'll know why this is happening. I don't think it's a reason to panic. Celsius is just really bad management. Um, and I don't think they'll affect the coins long term. And of course, the Coinbase being used as the surveillance thing for ETF rumors, Base is launching soon. So if you're looking for a stock to buy, Coinbase base stock might just be the one for you. Um, definitely a lot of good stuff going on for Coinbase, you know, with the Fidelity stuff, the EDX stuff, the BlackRock stuff. And now like, you know, being surveillance for uh, the ETFs, definitely something to look at and definitely looks like a stock on the up and up. I can't be for sure. I don't have any insider information, but just on the surface, it seems pretty good. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe, hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.